Now next problem is a very important and conceptual problem. We have a bag which is having 12 red and 6 white balls. 6 balls are drawn randomly one by one without replacement from this bag. And we have found that out of, out of these 6 balls at least 4 are white. We need to find the probability that in the next 2 draws exactly one of the ball is white. Now in this kind of problem the language is the most important part. We are given one of the condition that out of the 6 balls drawn at least 4 are white. We are given one of the condition and we are asked the probability of certain other event. We want in the next 2 draws exactly one of the ball is white. So in these kind of problems we apply the Bayes theorem. Let us say that probability of event A or rather the event A is at least 4 white balls drawn. Let us say event B is exactly 1 white in the next draw. Let us say event B1 is or rather the event A1 is this A can be split into 3 parts A1, A2 and A3 where A1 represents 4 white balls out of the 6, 4 white, A2 represents 5 white out of the 6 and A3 represents all the 6 balls to be white. The probability of this, that is the probability of, of this event A1, the probability is since there we are having 4 white balls, so we select 4 and from the remaining 12, we have to select 2 upon the total which is 18C6. Out of these 18 balls, we can select any 6 balls by method, by 18 C6 ways. The probability of A2 is selecting 5 white balls out of the 6, 6 C5 into from out of remaining 12, we require 1 divided by 18 C6 and probability of A3 is 6 C6 that is all 6 balls should be white into 12 C0 upon 18 C6, this is 1 upon 18 C6. Now we have to apply Bayes theorem. Bayes theorem says probability of B given A, this A and B are the two events which we have over here to be at least 4 white balls in the first 6 draws and exactly 1 white ball in the next 2 draws. So Bayes theorem says probability of B given A is equal to summation of I from 1 to n and we have n to be 3 over here because there are 3 events involved. Probability of ai into probability of b given ai upon summation i equals 1 to n which is 3 over here. Probability of ai. This is the base theorem. This is a very important theorem and this whole question is a very important conceptual problem. We should remember this formula. This formula is called the Bayes theorem. Here the summation is from i is equal to 1 to n and since we have 3 cases over here, so it is i is equal to 1 to 3. So we try to find out probability of b that is exactly 1 white ball in the next 2 draws given that we are having at least 4 white balls in the previous 6 draws. So this probability of b given a, we put all the values in the formula. This is p a1 into p of b given a1 plus p a2 into p of b given a2 and so on. So p of a1 is 64 into 12 c2 divided by 18 c6 and probability of b given a1 that is probability of having exactly one ball in the next two draws, exactly one white ball in the next two draws given already four white balls have been drawn is out of the remaining two white balls we can have one white ball being selected and out of the remaining 10 red balls we have to select one red ball also. Already two red balls have been selected so out of remaining 10 we have to select one and this divided by the total number of balls left which are 12 C2 since we need to select two balls for the next two draws plus P of A2 which is 65 into 12 C1 divided by 8 C6 into 
probability of B given A2. That is probability of having exactly one white ball in the next draw given that already five white balls have been selected. So, already five white balls have been selected. So, there is only one white ball remaining. So, it is 1C1 into since 11 red balls are remaining. So, we have to select one red ball out of this 11 into 11C1 divided by 12C2 whole divided by PA1 plus PA2 plus PA3 which is 64 into 12C2 upon 18C6 plus 65 into 12C1 upon 18C6 plus 1 upon 18C6 this 18C6 can be cancelled from the numerator and denominator and we get the final answer as this whole term. We cannot simplify these terms but we can leave the answer in this format. Hence in this problem we learned the important theorem which is the base theorem in which the question can be understood that this is a question of base theorem by seeing that in these kind of problems there are always one condition given or certain event has been given which has already occurred and we need to find the probability of a forthcoming event and hence our final answer is this big term by using the important base theorem.